Hey guys, welcome back. Another protein snack review uh, from Isaac from Undeniable. So today we've got the Fulfill Milk Chocolate Mint flavor. Uh, give you a little look at that one. That's it there. You saw it for about 2.5 seconds. So Fulfill last time we did, I think it was a peanut butter, maybe toffee or something like that, peanut butter toffee. Um, it was quite nice. I'd have to double check the flavor, but I remember being quite nice. The fat was a little bit too high. So let's have a look at this. Um, I'm not a massive fan of mint myself. Um, like I'll eat it and all that kind of stuff, but just not sort of a go-to flavor for me. So stats on this are 100 and, uh, what is it? 89 calories. That's fine. It's a good low calorie bar. You got 20.1 grams of protein. Outstanding. You got 6.9 grams of fat. Pretty good, definitely in the moderate range, but um, higher moderate, if that makes sense. So that's still almost a three to one ratio, which is fine compared to like protein to fat. So you got 9.9 .9 grams of carbohydrates with 10.3 grams of fiber. Now let's have a look here. Doesn't tell you what kind of fiber it is, but I'm assuming some of that's gonna be a soluble fiber. So you'll have to add that into your carbs. It'll, yeah, it's hard to sort of know, but maybe Give yourself a little bit of room, a wiggle room in your macros or carbs if you're going to eat something like this. Maybe five and at most 10 grams of carbohydrates extra. So let's give this a taste. Okay. Okay. Huge um, mint flavor coming off it. Smells exactly like those Aero sort of um, mint flavors. We'll see if we can give you a bit. You can see all those like little bumps and stuff on it, which is kind of cool. All right, let's give this a bit of a taste and we'll see how we go. So again, getting a lot of that mint smell, which is great. Hmm. Texture on this bar is really good, not just a big block of mush. Lots of different textures. Seems like it's got a, those little mint slices that you used to eat in the sort of packet. Remember that white stuff in the middle, like the mint basically. It's got a very similar thing here. Like a, a white layer of sort of mint, I guess, which is really cool. A little bit granular, a little bit chewy. It has those little crunchy balls in it of whatever they are. I don't know what they are, but that's what you're seeing on top there. Little like air bubbles, which is nice. Definitely adds to the texture. Massive mint flavor, but not too overpowering. Really, really yum. Tastes like one of those mint slices again, which is great. Chocolate's a little bit subtle, but still nice. Overall, pretty impressed with that again. Quite yum, no artificial sort of flavors going on there. Again, just review the stats here. 20 grams of protein, basically, seven grams of fat, uh, 10 grams of carbs, and about 10 grams of fiber. So again, quite good. Your carbs could maybe sneak up a bit, depending on if that's soluble fiber in there or not. We won't be able to tell, but just take it in mind when you're doing and working out your macros. It's sub 200 calories, really good. Flavor's really good, texture's really good. A lot of crunchy sort of little things there, nice layers. Um, didn't blow me away, but again, I'm not a massive mint fan. So um, yeah, really impressed with this one from for Phil. So protein is good, stats are good. I'm gonna have to give this a 7.7 .7, guys. That's for Phil's um, mint, it's yeah, milk chocolate mint flavor. 7.7, um, .7. really impressed with it, really yum, good mint flavors in there. If you're a mint lover, this probably would have ranged in the eights, uh, but for me, I'm not a massive mint fan, so that's it for today, guys. Um, and again, if you wanted to see any of the reviews, they're all on YouTube, we have a link below. If you wanna see any of the stats just listed out, you wanna look at like what's the best bars, go over to our website, check it out there, and thanks again for watching.